Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about one of my most favorite topics that is skincare, precisely acids in skincare routine. Now, if you are a beginner, if you are already using certain acids in your routine, but feel like uh, it's not suiting your skin or if you are planning to incorporate some acids in your skincare routine, definitely continue watching. I will be giving you some insights about how uh, to pick this acid based on your skin type or condition or how to use it and what kind of concentration of acids to use so yeah uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do take a moment to do that too now let's just get into the video uh, actually before getting into the video there are a couple of things that i would like to talk about uh, first thing is skincare is a personal choice and what kind of skincare you want to do is your personal preference like if you want to go for organic products or if you want to incorporate these acids or if you want to keep your skincare routine short or you you want to go to 10 step or 12 step skincare routine and keep it elaborate it's up to you to decide and there is no right or wrong as long as you are choosing the correct uh, product targeting your skin concern and type and if you're good using it nobody has the right to tell you what is right or wrong and the second thing is um, your ideology or notion about skincare like using skincare products doesn't mean you will start getting a perfect flawless skin uh, there is nothing like that going to happen because the amount of damage that our skin goes through on daily basis is really high and of course our body naturally has uh, the ability to cure or heal itself be it any skin concern um, you know if it's mild to moderate like anything excess of course definitely has to be consulted with a doctor but if it's mild to moderate our skin or body has the ability to cure and heal itself these skincare products are just going to you know be a little more help to our skin or body to heal a little faster so that is what uh, the role of skincare is in your you know your skin health and everything so just do not expect miracles to happen it it depends on your lifestyle your food habits your sleeping cycle uh, the environmental pollution and changes and everything your hormonal changes your mental health there's a lot that affects the skin on the outer part so as long as you are doing good inside and outside with the routine and products you will have a good skin if not let's just keep trying and let's aim for a better skin and better health in general so is uh, skincare beauty or personal care uh, are gender neutral so when i talk about skincare or makeup i just don't address it only to women even men can have these routines like you can start incorporating sunscreens moisturizer hyaluronic acid lip balm whatever you want so yeah that's a few things that i wanted to add up before we get into the actual video now when it comes to acids in skincare and if you're a beginner the first question is which acid do i need now i will be talking about each of these acids in the later part of the video but to evaluate which acid you need there are two points that you can keep in mind one is your skin type and condition the second one is desired effects now when i mean skin type and condition of course uh, what skin type you are and what skin concerns you have now acne being the major skin problem with a lot of people you need to also remember not everybody breaks out for the same reason uh, be it excess oil sebum or junk food or that time of the month and hormonal imbalance like these are not the only reasons why a person breaks out it could be for a lot of reasons even minute reasons like uh, if you have a lot of dandruff and if you have an unhealthy scalp you can still get a lot of acne and if you're not changing your pillow covers regularly of course you will start breaking out and also if you have already incorporated a skincare product in your routine and if you're not doing it right for instance if you're using a strong potent acid like uh, salicylic acid or vitamin c and if you're not giving enough hydration if you're not protecting your skin from sun damage like if you're not using a good sunscreen you will still break up so you can't blame the product because you are not uh, using it correctly so there are a lot of reasons why one breaks out it's not important for you to know your skin type and concern and the actual reason of uh, the skin issue that you have 
this is desired effects now by this i mean what are you expecting out of a skincare product or routine uh, for instance when i talk about these acids i'll explain you uh, what these acids actually do to your skin or what skin type should actually be using it so you will be able to understand um, which of these acids you will need to you know start using and when and what kind of concentration and everything so by the end of the video uh, with these two points you will be able to pick your products or assets accordingly so okay the first acid that we're going to be talking about is vitamin c which is also called as ascorbic acid now this is an antioxidant that helps in improving your skin elasticity brightens up your skin improves your uh, hyperpigmentation helps with your sun damage aging signs and a lot of other uh, you know skin issues now this although uh, uh, is suitable for all skin types keep in mind that vitamin c is very strong and potent in nature so it can try or irritate your skin a little if you are a beginner start uh, using the low percentage of vitamin c uh, even if you're using a low percentage of vitamin c there are chances of light uh, stinging and irritation on your skin so it is always good to incorporate vitamin c uh, with a very good hydrating moisturizing products and of course protect your skin uh, with sunscreen if you're using vitamin c during your daytime because it can make your skin a lot more sensitive although it does suit all skin types uh, there are a lot of people who feel like vitamin c is not for them especially if you are an extremely sensitive skin person so there are other uh, alternatives for vitamin c as well maybe i'll talk about that in a different video but vitamin c is a very 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 good product if it suits your skin definitely make sure you're using it very religiously in your routine okay the next acids that we are going to be talking about is chemical exfoliants like aha and bha now first let's talk about aha which is alpha hydroxy acid now these are water soluble exfoliant agents now because it is water soluble it cannot penetrate through deeper layers of our skin because there are natural oils present in the layers of our skin so it will only exfoliate the outer part or outer layers of our skin and there are a lot of types of AHAs available in market but the three most common AHAs are glycolic acid, lactic acid and metallic acid. So basically glycolic acid is a lot more effective than uh, lactic acid or metallic acid because uh, glycolic acid is made up of smaller molecules which means it can penetrate through uh, deeper layers of your skin. Uh, because it is more effective, it is also more irritating uh, to the skin. Irritated? Irritating to the skin. Uh, so this is not recommended for sensitive skin people. Uh, lactic acid is made up of larger molecules compared to uh, glycolic acid and it will take a lot more time to penetrate through your skin. And also it has uh, ability to increase the moisture content in your skin. So it is a lot more recommended for dry skin people. Uh, whereas mandelic acid has larger molecules than lactic acid so it is basically uh, suitable for very very sensitive skin people so based on your skin type or how sensitive your skin is you can choose one of these AHAs as an exfoliant agent in your routine next one is beta hydroxy acid which is bha it is an oil soluble exfoliant agent which is a lot more suitable for oily acne prone skin because of course it can penetrate through much deeper layers compared to the AHAs. Now BHAs are mostly known as salicylic acid but in a lot of products you will not be having the term salicylic acid but instead you will see uh, salix alba bark water. I have written it down because it's really difficult to remember this term. So uh, salix alba bark water is the ingredient, in, ingredient that will be mentioned on a lot of uh, BHA products. Okay, the next one is azelaic acid, which is a lot more similar to retinols, but it is a lot more safer than retinols. Now, retinols are very strong and potent acid, and it is not recommended for pregnancy women, but azelaic acid is quite safer. But still, do not go by any YouTuber's words. Go consult your doctor if you are trying to incorporate any of these uh, acids in your routine if you're pregnant. Now, coming to azelaic acid, it helps in brightening and it helps in acne marks and active acne. Because it has antibacterial properties, uh, it is a lot suitable for people with uh, a lot of breakouts, active acne. And if you are a beginner, always start from 10% of azelaic acid and use it as a spot treatment. 
than applying it all over your face. Uh, of course, one thing you need to remember with all of these assets is you need to do a patch test before you apply it all over your face, irrespective of how uh, irritant or how safe it is. Always do a patch test before you apply it on your face. Okay, the next asset that we are going to be talking about is you know the mother of this asset family, uh, that is hyaluronic acid. The reason I call it the mother is because this is the most safest and this is one of those assets that goes well with every other asset. Now this is a humectant and what humectant basically does is it absorbs the hydration in your environment and provides it to your skin. So although this is much more suitable for dry skin people, any skin type can actually use a hyaluronic acid and if you are using uh, stronger potent acids that I mentioned uh, previously with vitamin C, HAs or BHAs or retinols you can use hyaluronic acid along with them uh, to give the extra hydration and moisture this will reduce the amount of irritation and dryness that is happening and um, yeah this is a very safest uh, acid that you can incorporate in your skincare routine now that we have spoken about acids, the next question is how often do I use this acids in my routine? Now if you are a beginner, always start using these acids once a week. Um, in terms of exfoliants, always start using it once in 15 days, that is twice a month. And gradually increase, like give your skin at least 2 months, that is 8 weeks of time to adapt to any of these acids and then gradually increase. In terms of hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, retinols, or azalic acid, try to give your skin 8 to 10 weeks. Use it just once or twice a week. Once your skin adapts to that acid, you can gradually increase the number of times you use it and then maybe start using it every single day. But exfoliants are meant to be used only once or maximum to uh, two times a week. Do not overdo with exfoliants at all because I see a lot of oily skin people exfoliate their skin twice or thrice a week and some people even do it four times a week which is not safe at all. So stick with exfoliants just once a week or twice a week. Don't overdo. But with other acids you can gradually increase uh, the number of times you use it in your routine. Next question of course what concentration should I start from? I would have mentioned it already throughout the video. If you are a beginner always start from the lower percentage of uh, acids and if you see a, a brand coming up with a vitamin C product go check the uh, percentage of vitamin C uh, that is used in the uh, product and research yourself if you are a beginner what percentage of vitamin C should I start from and if this product is safe and then go ahead purchase a product and start using it again once or twice a week and then gradually increase the concentration of these assets are really important so make sure before you buy any of these assets to check the label or to see the ingredients list to understand uh, the percentage or the concentration of these assets present in the product and then start using it the last question but the most complicated one is can I use this X acid with the Y acid? Now, as a beginner, always be on the safer side and do not mix these acids and do not use them at a time. Now, like I said, hyaluronic acid goes well with all the other acids. So, there is no risk involved in using hyaluronic acid with vitamin C or retinols or AHAs and DHAs. But do not mix the other acids together at all. And uh, the exfoliant, the chemical exfoliants that I just mentioned are supposed to be done during your nighttime skincare routine. And even the next morning, try to avoid using any other acids. Stick to just hyaluronic acid and moisturize your skin and uh, use a good sunscreen and keep it very simple. Uh, your skin will definitely be a lot more sensitive when you have exfoliated it. So don't go ahead with vitamin C or anything that's a lot more strong and potent in nature and also these days a lot of brands have come up with products that has a combination of different acids for example this one from dr shes this is a tesen and kojic daily pigmentation correction cream this one has two percent of kojic acid niacinamide and 0.5 percent of glycolic acid so it has an aha it has niacinamide and kojic that uh, targets to uh, you know pigmentations and acne scars and everything now because the uh, brand has formulated it uh, in a certain way it is safer to use so if you don't want to buy a lot of products if you don't want to have a 
elaborated skincare routine with multiple products you can definitely give such products a try now this one from pilgrim this is the vitamin c night serum now this one already has hyaluronic acid in it so instead of using two different serums or two different products you can actually use one so you can look for such kind of products if you don't want to spend too much but still want two or more assets in your routine so yeah with that we come to an end and i hope this video was a little helpful and if it was don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't uh, there's a lot more content coming up on skincare and makeup so stick around and support i'll catch you in my next video until then bye